How to change a man's shirt into a woman's shirt. That's coming up. Hello fashion sewers. If you're new to the channel, I'm Colleen and this is FSB TV. And in this tutorial, we are going to be changing this shirt into a woman's shirt. And we're going to do that by adding darts to the front and also the back. Make sure that you get a shirt that is quite close fitting. You don't want an oversized shirt. Really, it's gonna work this project unless you actually make your shirt smaller. And I've got a video tutorial in order to make a shirt smaller. And I'll link that in the description. But try and get a shirt that isn't too oversized to begin with. When it comes to choosing the right shirt, I'm gonna turn it around to the back. Make sure there are no pleats in the back of the shirt. As you can see here, there are no pleats. You can get a center box pleat in men's shirts and you can also get pleats here and here. Try your best not to, to get those shirts because just adding too much volume and it'll be harder to put the darts in and get a closer fit to your body. It's not impossible to put darts in, but to get it to be closer to your body, it will make the job just that little bit too hard work. So just make sure it's a nice, more or less reasonably fitted garment and we're just going to take the volume out with darts at the front and also darts at the back. And men's shirts tend to be really, really, really long. So we're going to be making that shorter as well. So what I'll do, I'll try it on and then see where I'm going to be cutting it to make it shorter and where we're going to put the dart placements. So let's get started. So as you can see, the shirt isn't too oversized. But like I said, it is rather long. I'll just turn around to the back, see how long it is. It's really long. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make that shorter to about here. And then I will do the dart fitting. So we'll do that first. I've placed a pin to where I'm going to shorten the shirt. So I'll just get my tape measure my hand there over there. Okay, so get that roughly about the same. And just put a pin in position. Okay, so once you've done that and you're happy with the placement of your pins, then you are ready to cut. Get my scissors. I'm just going to go above my pins slightly. Move that pin out the way. Don't need this bottom part of the shirt. So what you can do next is you can overlock or surge, or you can do a double fold. So that'd be the actually what we'll do first before what we'll do before that is put our dark shaping in. So I'm going to try it on and put the placement for our first dart. So we're going to do the uh, dart positioning and make sure you look into a full length mirror when you're doing this. So make sure that you are standing straight and I'm right handed, so I'm gonna use my right hand in order to, to do the darting on this side and keep my left arm straight. So as you're doing this, make sure that you are straight, I've got a pin in there already. Keep your head forward because you don't want to be bending like this because your dart is not going to be in the right position. You need to make sure that you are standing straight. So you get a, you get your, your hand, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, that arm straight, and then you kind of feel where your waistline is 
and then take out the biggest section of the dart here on your waistline. Work that way first. So it should be there. I'm going to get my pin and then I'm looking down. Get my head up straight again. Obviously, this may not look that great or well in position because I'm not looking into a mirror and my camera monitor is very small so I can't see very well. And then take it to the point of the dart and make sure it's not on the apex here. You want to make sure it's just under and place a pin. Make sure you keep yourself straight and then go back to where the waistline is and then you're going to take the dart out towards the hip level and then you place your pin. So it should, if this is straight and looks okay, it should look something like this. If not, I'm obviously going to look into the mirror to make sure that it is correct and I'll show you how to transfer that dart onto the other side. So I adjusted the dart just a little bit from, I just made sure that I looked into the mirror to make sure that I was happy with the dart shaping. So now that we have the dart in place, you're going to need needle and thread. And we're just going to do some quick tailor's tap. So get your dart like so, and then just do a quick tailor's tap. So you're going to have three toe tucks in all, one in the middle, move the pin, put it along the side. and one more here. Okay, move that needle, that pin I should say. Just cut that one, middle one. There you have a dart shape that I can now transfer onto the other side. Just pin the button stand together so I don't get any movement. And get my shirt as flat as possible. And make sure that your button stand is even. I'll get one more pin and put it there. Yep, happy with that. So now we're going to be transferring those darts into the next section, the other side of the shirt. And then once we've done that, we will be sewing the darts into position. So I just thread my needle. So where that do a another Taylor's tack. Yeah. And the same position as Just keep on doing that until you've got and then I'll do one more at the bottom as well. I'm 
like so. Not too much of a long tail on that one. Okay, remove the pins. And then you are slowly going to pull that through. So you've got tails on that side, tails on that side. There and there. So I'll just turn it this way. See, you've got your tail is tracing here and that side on here as well. And that's the inside of the shirt, which should also be shown on the outside of the shirt. This side, you can, you can just see tiny little marks on the other side, and that's fine. Totally fine. That's how tail tucks look like. So the next thing to do then is to get your pins and then match those positions up. Be a dark shaping. And then you do the same on the other side. Okay, I have sewn the front dots and I'm happy with that. That just needs a press. And the back, still got lots of volume in the back. So we need two darts in the back. And I'm gonna show you how to place those in the back. So you're going to need to tape measure. And the best way to do the darting for the back of the shirt is to get your tape measure. And where the buttons are is going to be the center front of the shirt. And then you just place that tape on that center front line to where the dart is positioned, the waistline dart in particular, which is there, which is excellent for me. It's eight centimeters. And then I want you to increase it by, let's say 1.5, around about that big 1.5, two centimeters, just to increase it for the back. So we get our back, and fold our shirt in half. Just check my seams are matching up. Yep. And then measure how far from the hemline my waist dart, waistline dart is, okay. Right, so it's going to be in this position here. Let's put the pin there for a moment. And then I'm going to, so it'll be measurement. So mine is about here. So I'm getting a pin and put it there. So I'll just remove that pin. And then you're gonna need your needle and thread. And then you're going to do a tailor's tack here. And cut. And going right to be about, let's say, 2.5. So I'll be about an inch 
maybe a little bit more, maybe a, bit, a little bit less, depending on the fit of your shirt. And put another one there. That excellent. Move that pin. You can find the center of the dart and then just bring that down and place the pin. Now the, the dart positioning towards the yoke of the shirt, towards the collar, I'd make it a little bit longer than perhaps you usually have because there's a lot of volume towards the shoulder of men's shirts just to cater for the body shape of men. So you can see from this point here, it's quite short. But there, it's quite long. It may not be the case depending on the shirt that you are working with. So you're going to need your needle and thread and then do another tailor sack. And then just repeat it for the bottom one. So there you have your dark shaping for the back of your shirt. Tailor's tacks, and all I'm going to do is cut those tails. And then once you've done that, you just sew it the same way you have sewn the front darts. So, yeah, I've sewn the darts into the back, but it's still a lot of room. There's a lot of volume here that needs to be taken out. And the only way you can do that is to take it from here. And the side seams this is where it is this is where it's all happening so hopefully now you can see how it's fitting a lot better at the back so that is what i'm going to do next so i'm going to put a pin there so i'm going to get, to get rid of the fullness in the back of the shirt by taking some into the side seam and also the sleeve which i really didn't want to do but it has to be done if you want a good fitted shirt. And this is what darting and shaping is all about when you're refashioning a man's shirt into a woman's shirt. So I put a marking for on the front of the zip of the shirt, like so. And it's, it's curved in, so there is kind of like a waist shape that's going on here. And there's my eye waist shaping so I'm going to put a pin here actually I'm going to put it that way so I'm going to be curving this like so and I'm going to have to come into the seam we need to taper that we can't just start there and sew down because we're going to have a bulk under our armpit so yeah I'm going to have to make that sleeve a little bit smaller Okay, I've now finished the shirt, and as you can see, it is a lot better fitting. So, success. I haven't cut away the fabric from the underarm as yet into the side seam, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. I haven't pressed it as yet either. So, let me just show you the back. So, this is the front, and this is the back. As you can see, it's a great fit around the arms and the armhole. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So this is what you need to do in order to change a man's shirt into a woman's shirt. So I'm just going to do a little recap. So remember, the style of shirt that you go for shouldn't have any pleats in the back at all because it just makes the job a lot more harder. Just make sure that you're paying consideration to your body type and to fit as you go. As you've seen, I did the shirt, I did a dart to the front first the shirt on and then I did the darts to the back and then I had to take more fullness out from the side seam to the underarm. You may not have to do that but do bear that in mind. It just depends on the style of shirt that you're working with. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and please do share and I will see you next time.